Hello, anybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 9. I am Mr. Debius, or just Deeb, and in the last episode, we had the crazy twist where Dr. Wily came and plastered his W all over Mega Man's face because all the other Robot Masters ran away. But in reality, we are going to be heading off to the Wily levels now that we've defeated all eight Robot Masters. So, in classic Mega Man fashion, we are treated to a little cutscene here. Of Wily, waggling those infamous eyebrows. Wow, he does that for a few seconds. And this music is taken directly from Mega Man 2. Mega Man 9 really wants to be Mega Man 2, and I don't blame it because that is the most popular Mega Man. But anyway, these are the Wily stages, and this is my favorite track in the game, Flash in the Dark. I actually like this more than um, the Wily, uh, Wily Stage 1 in Mega Man 2, which is often considered to be the best Mega Man track in the series. And here we immediately start and we have these obstacles flying right at us from all angles. If you use the Jewel Satellite here, this is your best bet for getting past everything. Um, Wily Stages traditionally will have a little bit of everything from all the stages, plus some new stuff, like that new robot right there. But it'll mostly just do things that you're familiar with, and some concepts. Wily Stages forces you to use all the powers you've learned, because by now you have all the powers. And here, we have... It, we, we, we have... Okay, I see what I'm supposed to do to get up there. Here we got a blow, we got, you have to use Tornado Blow here, and you have to pick up these little energy refills along the way. You don't have to get those, but it does help. Every little bit helps in this level, because, well, you don't want to run out, that's for sure. But man, I really like this tune. Wily stages are, of course, because the game is designed in such a way that the ma eight main stages have to be a approximately the same difficulty, Wily stages have a habit of being extra hard. Mega Man games are traditionally tough games, and Mega Man 9 is no exception. These are tough levels, and here we have lightning in the background. Night has fallen, and we are going to not be having a good time, because we're going to be struck by lightning. I don't even know what the hell I'm saying anymore. We have these guys, which actually do a surprising amount of damage. Lots of elements from Concrete Man stage in this first section of Wily Stage 1, and they are placed pretty well, but I think I've been doing pretty well against them. And here we have an old friend, Mr. Dragon. And I'm just gonna get out the Tornado Blow, because this guy does a ton of damage if you don't use the Tornado Blow on him. Specifically, I'm just so bad at hitting this guy. I mean, I can try to, but no matter what, he always hits me somehow. I'm not sure how to dodge his fireball pattern, it's just never, he's always too low to the ground when he uses it, and I don't know. If anybody knows how exactly to dodge this guy, please tell me. I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, I could probably look up a video, but that's kind of too specific for my tastes. And he goes down. And that is our checkpoint for the first level of Wily Stage 1. Wily Stage, the Wily Stages aren't as long per average as, sorry, I'm finding the right weapon here. You want to use your B to get that. Hornet Chaser, I don't know if I ever explicitly said it, it does pick up items that are far away, so that is great. And here we also have a restock station for stuff that may have run out. These guys can help you grind up for supplies like health and refilling on your weapons, and I would recommend taking advantage of this because you, your weapons do not refill between stages. You have to do all the Wily stages in one go. Or at least, if you get a game over, everything refills, but then you lose your checkpoints, and then you gotta start at the beginning of whatever stage you were on, and you don't want that. Of course not. Alright, I filled everything back up, and I kinda cut ahead so you didn't have to watch me do all that, and here we have the lasers from Magma Man stage, instead shooting magma to the sides. And you're never gonna believe how we're gonna do this. Yeah. You throw some concrete into the magma, and it totally freezes it, and I'm gonna just gonna jump down here, because this is not a fun section. This is actually what I would consider the hardest section in all of the Wily stages in this love in this game. Not one of the hardest, just the plain hardest. This part is tough and it is unforgiving. And I'm just gonna use the rush coil to get through here. Uh, you could use the concrete blast to get through there normally and like platform your way up, but I just prefer to do it this way. It's just a lot less stressful. Because believe me, that is extremely stressful. And I think. If you want to affirm your jump, you want to do something like that. And that also helps in Mega Man, or in, uh, Magma Man stage for some of those trickier jumps. Concrete Shot helps with a lot of the, uh, hard platforming sections in these levels. Now, I don't want to drop right down into that lava. 
Uh, but I think if I just do that, we can land on top of this thing, and if we use the rush jet, we can get over to here where we want to go. Good times to be had by all. Now, while I was off screen and before I actually started the episode, I did pick up a bunch of energy tanks, so I have up to five and that should be good. I also have four lives now thanks to what I picked up in this level, so I should be standing pretty good. Now when I said that these levels were shorter than the average Robot Master stage, I guess I kind of forgot that it had all these elements. There we have from Galaxy Man and Jewel Man, and here you definitely need to use the Rush Coil. Like I said, Wily stages will make you use your powers, and it especially will make you use your platforming powers, like the Rush Jet and the... It's, it's kind of requisite. Use these powers right now. However, you don't really want to waste your power-ups, but you don't want to squander them either. They can really help in a pinch. Yeah, I'm not going to use my Rush Coil, just in case I need it. And here we come up to the first boss. So I guess Wily stages on average are longer instead of being shorter. I kind of can't remember off the top of my head. I'm bad at gauging the length of things, to be honest. They are harder for sure, though. And here we have a very peculiar boss. I don't know what this thing is called. Anyway, the best weapon here to use is the Magma Shooter, because in this boss fight, you have to shoot these items to the back. Now, if you charge up your shot here, it will push them further back. So uh, that is something to keep in mind if you want to get this all the way there. The spikes themselves are insta-kill, and you don't want those to hit you. But if they get them all the way to the end, these robots, they will start taking shots directly at you. And you just don't want that. Oh god. No, no, no. And you want to push that into them. The ones with the two spikes on their heads are a lot harder to uh, shoot. And these guys do a fair amount of damage if they do start shooting at you. And especially, you don't want a whole bunch of them shooting at you, so you definitely want to put priority on the ones that have gotten their balls all the way to the end of the map, because you don't want that coming at you. And once the, um, the balls are unaligned, it becomes too difficult to use the magma shooter against them. But now that we have them down- oh god! Now that we have them down on the ropes, they won't respawn anymore from the sides, and we uh, just about finish them off. This is actually probably the easiest of the Wily Stages bosses in this game. But then I'm forgetting what's next, so I guess we're gonna see. Come back to the map. And we get a line. In the original games, the lines didn't really mean much, but the lines on the map in this game and some of the others do outline the path you'll be taking. So yes, we will be going far to the right and then wrapping up all the way around, and I really like that detail. Now the track for this stage, I think We Are the Robots, that's what it's called. Um, it's good, and it is one of the fan favorites for Mega Man 9, but I don't know, I just don't really see the appeal in it. I'm not saying it's a bad track, but... Well, listen for yourself and tell me what you think. If you like. I mean, you don't have to. Also, Concrete Blocks will do that. Here, of course, we have our old friends, these guys, who we can just suck into the black hole to make our platforming days a little bit easier. You can also just use the rush coil to spring up here and just give yourself a much easier time than what the game wants you to do. Now, these guys... These guys are just a pain. And, of course, Laser Trident breaks through those, and they just generally get in your way, but I wouldn't pay them too much mind. The thing about them is, well, you could use your black hole bomb, but it's just, just easier to go around them. Now, Sniper Joes, as, you, as, we, as we have learned, are very vulnerable to the plug shot if you use them like so. And I think I'm... I actually don't use... I'm gonna be honest, I don't use the robot master abilities as much as I'm doing here. Also, Tornado Blow will blow away those little camera things that put false floors down. That's what they do, and that's why they're annoying. Now, we want to use Brush Coil to try and get up through these. It's kind of finicky to get up through them, and it's kind of annoying. So I'm just not going to bother with that. And you see they will put, like, false walls and floors and stuff. And they're just generally frustrating enemies. Come on. Put your shield down. There we go. But yeah, usually I don't use the Robot Master abilities as much as I do, as much as I'm doing in this playthrough of the game. Usually I just go through with the Mega Buster. And I'm not sure if it's something I talked about, but Mega Man Classic, it's a lot easier generally to stick with the Mega Buster than it is to use the Robot Master abilities. And that's mostly 
because of the formatting of just having to switch between them through the pause menu. Whereas Mega Man X allows like shoulder button changes and that makes things a lot easier. Now for this jump, which is just kind of a nasty jump, you want to do that for the easiest time. And here we have a return of the mini bosses. I think that this guy is actually weak against the, the magma bazooka. And I'm gonna try using this. Oh god, I just took that hit just because. Now I don't, I think I might have show. I didn't show it off in the original video that you could charge this up, so I'm sorry about that. Yeah, Magma Bazooka does pretty well against, well, plant-based robots. That's a dumb sentence. But here we come into the water where we will have a good time. Because, actually we won't have a good time, I hate this section. This is probably my least favorite section of the Wily stages in this game. I mean, I don't mind the lava lasers to the side section, it's not really that hard, it's just a little frustrating. Now, I think there might be a way to deal with these guys other than, you know, black hole bombing, which is just kind of the go-to, but these guys are invulnerable to shots, and that's why I ignore shooting them. I'm not going to go for that E-Tank, because I have five, and that'll be more than enough to get me through to the end of the game. Uh, here I am going to be pulling out my jewel satellite, though, because now we're going to start getting assaulted on all sides by these guys, and the screen will scroll, and I'll lose that benefit. Well... We also have the benefit of having some recharge items here, and oh god, I'm getting my- I'm getting hurt. Yeah, this section, this underwater section, I really hate it, I do not like it at all. Now, you don't have to go for that, because you can just send a bee after it. It's easy to forget that you have that, but try not to, especially when you have items in dumb locations that are just too much of a risk to go after yourself and you really want them. Hold on, I'm just gonna... There. <laughs> now, I want to refill my black hole bomb because we are gonna need that, but I also want to fill refill my concrete shot, so you know what? I will just refill on my stuff a little bit. You know what? That'll do. That'll be just fine. I'm tired of grinding against... That. <laughs> no! I am tired of grinding against those guys right now, so I'm not gonna do that. Just a moment. Okay, I just had to adjust something on my computer screen, which is right next to me, incidentally. And I just have to get through here, and I hate this jump so much. This, I don't like this part of the level. I think that this part is just full of a lot of very annoying jumps. Like, these aren't hard jumps. They're a lot easier than they look, but they're still extremely stressful, and I don't feel good about having to make them. And just because I don't like jumping around with these guys as a liability, I'm just gonna put up my jewel satellite. And here, you wanna get out your tornado blow to blow these guys away, and just save yourself the trouble of having to figure out which platforms are fake, and which ones are real, and plunging below to a murky, watery grave. Now, I think jewel satellite is a good option to have here, now that we have the UFOs back from Galaxy Man stage, because they are... I wouldn't say they're annoying enemies, but on these ladders, they can be very, very inconvenient. And just don't overuse your jewel satellite like I have kind of have been. Like, kind of... Oh, life. Just kind of moderate yourself. And I'm gonna fall. Damn it. But you do have that little alcove on the left you can get into if you have the opportunity. Yeah, you kind of need the jewel satellite for that. And if I remember, this guy is pretty weak against plug balls, so we're just gonna do that. That big guy does not like plug balls being shot into him. That is just unfortunate. And here we come to the boss. And we get we got two door guards for this boss. And I actually, even though I don't really like this stage too, I do like the boss of this stage. It's in a big room. It's a tail! Actually, we're gonna see what it is at the end, but yeah. Now that we're in this part of the game against the Wily stages, I do not feel bad about using the Robot Master's weaknesses. Although, I'll, okay, I used it a little bit, but obviously the Trident laser is the most effective here. But yeah, this ro this boss, it's not too bad. I've, I've done it before with just the Mega Buster, and it's not that bad. I just was thinking maybe to use the Laser Trident just to keep things efficient, but you know what? I'll, I'll use this. I won't mind switching off to the Laser Trident if I have to, but I'll try to do the rest with just my Mega Buster. Now here we have these two pods on the left and right that we want to keep shooting. I think actually the Magma Zooka is pretty useful here because it can hit the ones on the ground as well as the ones, you know, coming right at you. 
However, thankfully those spikes up above are not insta-kill spikes, so that is appreciated. So yeah, you want to keep your path clear. You never really want to try and jump over these, they don't give you enough room for that. These are really awkward to shoot because when they open, I'm not sure if you can shoot them at all. And now that we come to the front, we can see this is a giant missile shark. Why, Wily? Just why? However, I am running kind of low on energy, so I am going to bust an E-Tank just to prevent the usage of death. Uh, the application of death. I do not want that. And now that he's weakened down a bit, I will just keep doing the rest with the Mega Buster. Giant Laser. Generally, this isn't too hard to avoid, but some of the play shot placement, I feel, is kind of... I wouldn't say impossible, but definitely tough. I mean... You can just kind of run under him when he does that, but... Wait, is that actually the... No, that can't be the strategy because he was going to shoot at us. But anyway... That takes care of another Robot Master. I mean, another giant robot. Another Wily stage. However, this video is starting to get up there, so... Now that we've defeated two stages, and we're about to go on to the next, I believe that I am going to be pausing the video here, and we will be resuming the Wily Fortress in the next one. If you want to see the finale of Mega Man 9, then, then I just hope to see somebody in the next one. Bye bye